Hello, am I live? I hope I'm live. If, if I am, I'm sorry it took us a while. The internet is crammed with people who wanna see us. It's amazing. I'm just getting confirmation that we are in fact live. I see we have a lot, a lot of kids here already. I see there's Noah and Holden and Forrest, Juliet and Xander are here, which is so exciting. We have Rizal, Miles and Toby, Dean, Yale, Royzen, Killian and Liam, Violet, Harper, Rowan, Anna, Anthony, Owen, Sam, Maisie, Jane, and Abraham, Pippa, Jane, Whitney, Logan, Eleanor, Akita, Thuy, Claire, and Oliver. I'm just getting confirmation that we are in fact live. Peter says we're live, amazing. Thank you guys all for waiting while we were figuring out the internet. What? Okay, so welcome to day two of Story Pirates University. You might be wondering, what is Story Pirates University? What? You guys are like a podcast and a university? What don't you do? That's a good question. Well, Story Pirates University is going to be coming straight into your homes to teach you some amazing things about story writing. Have you ever wanted to create a character, but you didn't know how? Have you ever thought, hey, I, I keep putting commas places and then people tell me don't put commas there, but then put commas here and I don't understand. Have you ever thought, I wrote this story and now I don't know how to end it? Well, Story Pirates University is here for you. We're going to be doing amazing lessons to cover all of that and more. And today we are going to be working on a character, a very special kind of character called a mascot. All right. So before we get started, I see we have names scrolling in. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So if you are at home watching, you're probably on the Creator Club portal and there's like a little box below that says comment a name. If you hit that and put in your name, we'll get to see it. If you're watching live on YouTube, then if you look in the description, that'll be where it is, okay? So we'll get to some more attendance in a moment. But today we're doing mascots. Story Pirates University is amazing. My name, by the way, is Lauren. Hello, and I'm not alone here. Speaking of attendance and getting names, I have an amazing friend who is going to help us out today as we work on mascots. Please say hi to Sam. Hey, everybody. I'm Sam. Nice to meet you all. I'm so excited to be here. Yes. Okay, amazing, Sam. So, you know, I know we had some technical issues earlier as we were trying to do the live stream and and uh, be, be live. And, and you know, I'm, I am I used to teach in the classroom, right? And, and I get a little nervous when I'm live on the internet because I get worried that my face, which is very active, is just going to somehow get fraught. Lauren! Lauren, what happened? Your face, it was very active and then somehow it got froze. Oh no, Sam, Sam, what happened? Your face, it was very active and then somehow when you said that it went froze. Lauren, Lauren, something is happening where every once in a while, for some reason that we can't explain, our faces get froze. Wait, 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 okay. We keep saying that word, that word that that's like Disney movie, that word froze. Okay, okay, okay. I think we're sort of narrowing this down. I think we have to avoid saying the word fro. No, we did it. We were saying we needed to avoid saying it. Okay, what if we spell it? Okay, I really hope that our faces don't get F R O Z. Oh, I don't think you can even do that. I think we should avoid saying that word or spelling that word. Maybe we should just avoid it and then our faces will stop stopping. Okay, 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 I think okay. that worked. Okay, that totally worked, that totally worked. Okay, we just won't even think about it. No Elsa's, no castles, no ice. Just, oh, see, this is working, my face is staying. Okay, okay. amazing. Okay, so Great. we got that figured out. Now, it is time. At the beginning of a class, you take attendance and you all, there are so many people watching, this is incredible. So I'm trying to even think where I stopped. Okay, I think I said hi to Eleanor, Akita, Zoe, Claire, Oliver, Bryn and Micah, Soph, Ada, Simon, Ruby, Vera, Noah, Alex, Oscar, 
Matan, Sadie, Nora, Lydia, and Teddy, Thomas and Grant, hi, Evie, Mabel, Liam and Maggie, Michaela, Imogen and Asher, Jack, Watson and Mac, Rebecca, Jane, Hugo, Caroline, Amelie, Finren, Jackson, Gabriel and Eden, Hero and Max, Albert, Lauren, good name, Aiden and Madison, Ellie, Langley and Meyer, Torin, Vera and Stella, Roya and Quinn, Will and Grady, Calvin and Cora. Hello and welcome. We are so excited to have you watching. Now, we've done attendance. We need to do rules. Okay, now you're at home. You can't raise your hand and ask me for permission to go to the bathroom. Come on, that's you're in your own house. It would just be going to your own bathroom. That would be ridiculous. But you need to know a very, very important, very almost secret. That's why I'm getting closer. Story Pirates rule. Okay, this is very, very important. It's very serious. That's why my eyes are getting big. When you are here with us at Story Pirates University, you have permission to get weird. What does that mean? That means you can use your imaginations to come up with amazing characters as long as they are directly from your imagination, they can be as weird as you want. So now in that box that you put your name in, do this again for me and come up with a weird character because we're story pirates, we act things out. Sam is gonna act out some characters. Now, Sam, while we're waiting for responses, do you have any weird characters in your own imagination? Oh, I sure do. Could I be like, oh, hello, I am the queen of birds. I'm the queen of everything that's a bird. Well, that's not one of the birds that the king of birds is the king of. Oh, uh, he's my friend. <laughs> I was going to ask, we met the king of birds yesterday and yes. you're saying that, that you guys like, you, you share the kingdom of birds. So, okay, I have a question, okay. Yes. An eagle. Who who is in charge of eagles? Oh, that would be the king of birds. Okay. Okay. So the king of birds is in charge of eagles. Okay. Correct. Who is in charge of like hummingbirds? Oh, that would be me, the queen of birds, because I'm quite partial to humming. <laughs> okay. Okay. So eagles are the king. You're okay. So what about like a medium-sized bird, like um a, a duck? Who oh, that's in charge of Let that. me consult the charter. Oh, yes. Yes, that would be my. I am the queen of all aquatic birds like ducks, geese, swans, even penguins. Wow. I didn't even think about penguins. Sometimes I no forget one thinks about penguins. Wow. Sam, that was so wild. I loved that. That was so weird. Um, Are you ready for some weird characters? Because we have some from our students out there. Are you ready? Oh, I'm so ready. Okay. <laughs> All right. This first suggestion comes from Viola. I love it so much. And she would like to see a pizza giant. Whoa. Hello. I am the pizza giant. I travel all across the land making giant pizzas. And then I cut them into not giant, regular sized little slices so that the giant pizza can be shared by all. Amazing. I loved that. That was so great. Okay. Are you ready for the next suggestion? We have another amazing suggestion. This is from Harper. Harper would like to see a very bad sock. <laughs> uh, hey everyone, I'm a very bad sock. I'm a left sock, but I only go on the right foot. I'm a dirty sock, but I always go with your clean clothes. I don't play by the rules. I'm a bad sock. Whoa, I think I've had that sock before. You know what? You can never match that sock with any other socks. Okay, we're gonna do one more. And Hey, don't worry, if I haven't said your suggestion, there's gonna be time later to give even more. So this last one, I love how specific this is. We have Glooky the Sleepy Yak who wears leather pants. This is from Hero and Max. Whoa! Oh, hey everyone. My name is Goopy and uh, I'm a sleepy yak, you know? I just wear leather pants all the time. They're great, you know, if I like fall off my bike, I don't get any skid marks on my knees. 
I'm just so tired. Excuse me while I wake up, Glukey. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I'm a sleepy yak. That's just the way I is. Amazing. I love this. Everyone at home, you seem to have permission to get weird down pat. Okay, so let's get to our lesson of the day. And for this, my screen is going to change a little bit because I'm going to show you some things about mascots. Okay, so I might change in a second, but that's all right. All right, ready? Here, I'm going to do this. Okay. Okay, great. So now I'm small and you can see my screen. Great. So mascots, that's, that's what we're doing today because every good university needs a mascot. But what is a mascot? Well, a mascot is just a character that represents a school like us or a team. So if you have an idea of what our mascot is, we're going to create one together, type it in that box right now. So what is our mascot? Is it an animal? Is it a person or a type of person? Is it something totally else? So I'll show you a few examples, okay? Sometimes the mascot starts with the same letter as the uh, team, like the Concordia College Cobbers. Sometimes it has to do with where the school is. Other times it's just super silly. So here are some examples. Um, for example, we have uh, Williams College has the purple cow. Now, I love this because cows are not usually purple. And you can see this purple cow is very studious, very much reading this book. Williams College, purple cow. I love that. We also have the University of California at Santa Cruz. This is kind of a famous weird mascot. Sammy the banana slug. What is a banana slug? Is it a slug that lives in a banana? Why is its name Sammy? I don't know. It's super weird and awesome. And maybe my favorite, the Concordia College Cobbers. I love this because all of the things start with C, which is kind of fun to say, Concordia College Cobbers. And also, I guess the Cobbers are giant fighting ears of corn? Like why? What is that even about? I love it. So together, we are going to create a mascot, all right? And you'll be able to do this at home later because you will get this mascot maker it's downloadable on the Story Pirates University website. So you'll be able to do this yourself and submit it. And we're going to pick one of them as the actual official mascot of Story Pirates University. It's very exciting. So the first thing we need to figure out is my mascot is A. So I have a few suggestions I'm going to look from. Um, amazing. OK, I love this. So first suggestion of what this mascot is, is from Mary. Mary suggests a dancing refrigerator. So I'm gonna type that, dancing refrigerator. Great, now at home, while I draw the dancing refrigerator, tell me some other things to draw. So tell me more about this dancing refrigerator. Are there things inside of this dancing refrigerator? What does this refrigerator like to dance to? So I'm going to start drawing this as best I can. So a refrigerator is usually kind of like a big box. So I'm wondering if this refrigerator is open. Does it have legs? I'm going to draw some musical notes because it is dancing to some sort of music. It has a handle. Our handle on our refrigerator kind of looks like this a little bit. I see Margaret and Viola or Viola um, say that this dancing refrigerator wears tap shoes. I love that. So I'm going to try to draw that down here. These little tap shoes. And tap shoes usually have kind of like this bottom on them that make them tap. And uh, I'm going to label my drawing because, you know, we're doing our best here as we draw on the computer. Whoop. I meant for the arrow to go the other way. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to draw an arrow and I'm going to label my drawing. It's always good to label your drawings so somebody else knows what you mean. So these are tap shoes. Amazing. Um, 
I got another suggestion from Lucas that this refrigerator is full of cake. So what I might do is I might draw like an inside view. I don't know if this is gonna track, but I'm gonna try it. Inside view, and I'm gonna draw a cake, okay? So I'll do some color in just a second. Maybe some candles on the cake. Maybe some layers on the cake. And I'm gonna do my label again and say that it's full of cake. I love that. Okay, great, full of cake. Um, I love it. So um, I got another great suggestion from Owen and Alice that it's green. That's great, that's so weird. I don't normally see green refrigerators. So I'm gonna make my thing big here and then I'm gonna try to color in this refrigerator. I also am getting so many amazing suggestions. So it's green. So boop, 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 oh, there we go. Kind of do this. It's not gonna be perfect, but that's all right. Boop, 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 boop. It's green. I have another suggestion that I, I have a few other suggestions I'm gonna put in top hat and cane and ice cubes for eyes, which I absolutely love. Next thing I wanna know, so while I'm finishing this up, um, what is this refrigerator's name? I'm figuring this out. I'll redraw the handle. We have ice cubes for eyes. We have a top hat and cane. It's full of cake. It's a refrigerator. What is this refrigerator's name? And ice cubes from eyes came from Brooks. Thank you, Brooks, for that. Let's see. Ice cubes are like kind of blue. So I'm going to do blue ice cubes for eyes. So now I want to know what is this refrigerator's name there's a cube there's another cube I'm gonna label it ice cubes for eyes what is this amazing refrigerator's name ice cubes for eyes and then, right, we had a top hat and cane. I'm gonna draw that. Top hat and cane was from Ben. Thank you, Ben, for that great suggestion. Top hat and cane. Okay, so in order to have a cane, it needs hands. There's a cane. Okay, and then a top hat. This is such a tremendous dancing refrigerator with ice cubes for eyes. It's full of cake. It has tap shoes. It has a top hat and a cane. And we have so many amazing, amazing names coming. All right, let's see. We have, okay, let me see. Da, 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 da. Um, okay, great. I love all of these names so, so much. I just got one from Logan and Logan says, this refrigerator is called Mr. Cubicle. I love it. Mr. Cubicle, the dancing refrigerator. The last thing that I wanna know from our dancing refrigerator is what is the cheer? A mascot's gotta give a cheer to the university. My university had a really weird cheer. It was Bula Bula, it made no sense. Um, so what is the thing that this mascot says? Mr. Cubicle, who has ice cubes for eyes, a top hat and cane, loves to dance, uh, is full of cake, has tap shoes. What does this refrigerator say? Or maybe if it's dancing, it's kind of like a singing refrigerator. It's green, it's full of cake, top hat and cane. I love this, I'm gonna label top hat. Okay, we're getting our first suggestions for what this refrigerator says. And what I'm gonna do here, since it's something that they say, I'm gonna put quotation marks. It's very easy to put quotation marks right in front of what this refrigerator says and we know who it is. Um, okay, we have a suggestion. Whoop, I should. Da, da, da. Okay, our suggestion from Dean, this refrigerator says, 
Whooshy Baba. I love that because it's so weird. Um, okay, look at this amazing character we just created. And we're gonna see Sam do it in one more second. But just to review, our mascot is a dancing refrigerator named Mr. Cubicle. Has a top hat and a cane, loves to dance, is full of cake, has ice cubes for eyes, wears tap shoes, and says, whooshy baba. That's so weird, I love it. Okay, let's see, now I'm back here. Sam, are you ready to show us Mr. Cubicle? I'm so ready. All right, let's see it. Whooshy baba. I'm cute Mr. Cubicle, the refrigerator. I'm green, I'm wearing a top hat, I'm full of cake, and I've got tap shoes on that allow me to do some amazing tap moves. You wanna see my tap moves? You can't believe how fast my feet are moving. And did you hear about my eyes? My eyes are actually ice cubes. I've got ice cubes for eyes. Whooshy Baba! Amazing, that was so great. Mr. Cubicle didn't even exist like 10 minutes ago. And now Mr. Cubicle's dancing with his ice cube eyes right in front of our eyes, which are not ice cubes. Oh, that was so great. So that concludes our mascot maker class for today. But the most exciting part is yet to come because now you get to make your own mascot using the mascot maker. You can download it directly below here on the Story Pirates University website. And then you can submit it using that same form that you were just using. If you submit it by next week on Wednesday the 1st, and this is no fool and it's April 1st, we are going to unveil one of your submissions as the official mascot of Story Pirates University. It is so exciting. Thank you so much for joining us today. We will be back again next week with a brand new class, which will be totally, totally different. And if we really uh, play our cards right, it'll be lucky because then our face won't froth. Lauren, 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 your face just froth. Oh no, Sam, we did it again. We keep saying it and our faces keep free. Okay, let's just say uh, goodbye. Yes, that's good. Goodbye. Thank you for joining us. Keep creating, be creative, and be kind. Bye. Bye, everybody.